If you can't stop thinking about someone, know that it's common. Many people experience this. As someone who's been through it, let me explain why and give some advice dealing with it. The first reason why you can't stop thinking about someone is the chemistry and connection. I've seen many people struggle with not being able to stop thinking about someone. It's interesting how we can feel connected to someone beyond just liking how they look or enjoying the same things. Imagine meeting someone in a crowded cafe. Their smile brightens the room and you're drawn to them like a magnet. Even after you part ways, they stay on your mind. That's the power of chemistry, an invisible force that brings two people together in ways we can't explain. But it's not just about looks. Sometimes it's the shared experiences, the deep talks, and the vulnerable feeling together that makes the connection so strong. These emotional bonds can be tough to break, keeping us trapped in our thoughts. It's tempting to get lost in fantasies about this person, but it's important to stay balanced. I've seen how being too infatuated can lead to heartache. That's why I tell people to enjoy the connection, but to also be cautious. As the poet Rumi said, the wound is the place where the light enters you. Our struggles make us stronger, so when you can't stop thinking about someone, use it as a chance to learn about yourself. Ask why this person has such a hold on your thoughts and what you can learn from it. Remember, you control your own destiny. It's normal to be captivated by someone, but don't forget your own dreams. Stay true to yourself and trust that everything happens for a reason. As the saying goes, love is not about possession, it's about appreciation. Appreciate the connection you share with this person, but never forget to appreciate yourself as well. Second, unresolved feelings. It's a common phenomenon that often stems from unresolved emotions or issues that linger beneath the surface, hindering their ability to move forward. Let me share a personal anecdote to illustrate this point. A few years ago, I found myself unable to shake thoughts about a past flame. Despite being in a fulfilling relationship at the time, memories of this person kept resurfacing, causing unnecessary turmoil. It wasn't until I delved deeper into my emotions that I realized there were unresolved feelings stemming from the way things ended between us. Reflecting on my own experience, I often recall a poignant line from the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. How happy is the blameless Vestal's lot, the world forgetting by the world forgot, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind, each prayer accepted and each wish resigned. This quote encapsulates the desire to forget painful memories and move on, but it also speaks to the complexity of human emotions and the difficulty of truly letting go. In my practice, I've found that the key to overcoming persistent thoughts is introspection and self-awareness. It's essential to take the time to reflect on your feelings and understand the root cause of your fixation. Are you still harboring resentment from a past relationship? Did you experience rejection or betrayal that left emotional scars? By acknowledging these underlying issues, you can begin the process of healing and closure. Seeking closure is another crucial step in moving forward. Whether it's reaching out to the person in question for a heartfelt conversation or writing a letter to express your thoughts and emotions, closure can provide a sense of resolution and peace. However, it's essential to approach this process with realistic expectations and an open mind. Closure may not always result in the outcome you desire, but it can offer valuable insights and a sense of closure. Additionally, don't hesitate to lean on your support system during this time. Friends, family, or a therapist can offer guidance, perspective, and empathy. So number three, we have idealization. I've seen countless individuals fall into the trap of idealizing their partners, blurring the lines between fantasy and reality. It's like watching a movie where you can only focus on the protagonist's heroic deeds, ignoring any flaws or shortcomings, but real life isn't a screenplay. It's messy, complex, and filled with imperfections. One of my friends came to me with a heart heavy with infatuation. He couldn't stop gushing about his new girlfriend painting her as the epitome of perfection. But as our talk progressed, cracks began to appear in his idealized image. He started noticing her quirks, insecurities, and even some habits that grated on his nerves. It was then that I reminded him of the importance of seeing her as a whole, flaws and all. In the realm of cinema, there is a memorable quote from the movie 500 Days of Summer that resonates deeply with this concept. Just because she likes the same bizarro crap you do doesn't mean she's your soulmate. It's a stark reminder that shared interests or surface-level similarities don't equate to compatibility or perfection. 
We often forget that behind the polished facade lies a human being, complete with their own set of strengths and weaknesses. It's crucial to embrace this reality and approach relationships with eyes wide open. After all, it's the imperfections that make someone truly interesting and unique. I meet my friend Hannah, who struggled to let go of her infatuation with a colleague. She couldn't shake off the image of him as her knight in shining armor, despite numerous warning signs indicating otherwise. Through our communication, she learned to confront her idealized perception and see him for who he truly was, flawed just like everyone else. So the next time you find yourself lost in a whirlwind of infatuation, take a step back and remind yourself that perfection is an illusion. As Sam Keen said, love is not finding someone perfect, it's seeing an imperfect person perfectly. The last and final reason why you can't stop thinking about someone is the fear of missing out. It's a phenomenon deeply ingrained in our modern dating culture, fueled by the constant bombardment of social media updates and the illusion of infinite options. The fear stems from the nagging thought that if we don't seize the opportunity with someone, we might be passing up on our soulmate or a life-changing experience. Let me share a story that perfectly encapsulates this dilemma. I once worked with a client named Adeline who was torn between pursuing a relationship with a longtime friend and exploring the unknown with a new acquaintance she'd met at a social event. Adeline was plagued by the fear of missing out on either connection. What if she chose one and missed out on the potential happiness the other could bring? It was a classic case of FOMO in the realm of romance. In navigating Adeline's situation, I emphasized the importance of understanding that timing plays a crucial role in relationships. I reminded her of the old adage, good things come to those who wait. Relationships, much like fine wine, need time to mature and develop. Rushing into a connection out of fear of missing out can often lead to disappointment or heartache. To illustrate this point, I often reference the film Before Sunrise. In the romantic movie Before Sunrise, two strangers named Jesse and Celine meet on a train. They spend a special night together wandering around Vienna, discovering the city and each other. Their connection is palpable, but instead of succumbing to the pressure of immediate commitment, they agree to meet again in six months. This decision allows their relationship to unfold naturally free from the constraints of FOMO. By the time they reunite and before sunset, their bond has deepened into something truly special. In real life, we can draw inspiration from stories like Jesse and Celine's. Trusting in the organic flow of a relationship doesn't mean ignoring our feelings or desires, it means allowing things to unfold at their own pace. If there's genuine potential between you and someone else, it will reveal itself in due time. Moreover, it's essential to shift our focus from dwelling on what could be to embracing the present moment. Eckhart Tolle once said, Realize deeply that the present moment is all you ever have. By immersing ourselves in the here and now, we can cultivate a sense of peace and contentment, regardless of uncertainties about the future. In short, the fear of missing out on a potential connection is a common struggle in today's dating landscape. However, by recognizing the importance of timing, trusting in the natural progression of relationships, and embracing the present moment, we can alleviate these anxieties and foster meaningful connections that stand the test of time. Remember, life is not about chasing after every opportunity. It's about cherishing the ones that truly matter. In the end, I want to say it's okay to keep thinking about someone, especially if you have strong feelings or issues that aren't resolved. Understand why you're so focused on them so you can deal with it better and keep a balanced view. Trust yourself and what you feel based on what you've been through as you handle relationships and feelings. So give a like so this video can reach more people and subscribe to this channel to get more helpful advice.